Investigators named some surprising suspects in a rash of home break-ins. They say the people responsible for the crimes are mother and son. News 13's Rex Hodge is live at the Jackson County Sheriff's Office with this developing story. And Rex, these suspects are still on the loose? Yes, and they're asking for the public's help in tracking them down. They've released these pictures of a mother and son who they say have stolen valuable items from many homes in a community not far from here. A building right across the road right here. Yvonne Wiggins points out the shed across from his house where he says someone broke in and ripped off some of his tools. A steel cut and chop saw, a three-quarter inch anger saw, and a half inch. He says those tools are pricey. Well, just a three-quarter, probably 15 years ago, goes right at $500. Wiggins says he's not the only one robbed along Union Hill and other nearby roads in the Koala community of Jackson County, all in the last three weeks. He contacted the sheriff's office, eventually discovering his stuff had ended up at a Silva pawn shop. When I seen the chop saw, I told the deputy or told the guy at the pawn shop, I said, call the detective and tell him right there's 100% mine. I do want press charges. We're, we're currently seeking their whereabouts to uh, make an arrest. Sheriff Chip Hall says his investigators have two suspects, Tara Renee Pheasant, also known as Tara McCoy, and who they believe is her 21-year-old son, Frank McCoy. So how does that strike you? Kind of unique, but uh, don't surprise me. We're sorry. Too sorry to work. Wiggins hopes they're caught soon and his tools returned. You can ask anybody around here that knows me. I'll help you any way I can or let you use them. But it just gripes you when somebody comes in and steals them when you're not here or asleep. Do you think there are other, other suspects involved in the same sort of operation here? Possible. Very possible. possible. The sheriff is confident arrests are coming soon, possibly with the public's help. I feel certain that they'll uh, notify us relatively soon with these individuals' whereabouts. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wiggins will keep tightening up security around his shed. Now, the McCoys face similar charges in Haywood County, but they have been out on bond. If you know anything about their whereabouts, you're asked to contact the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live tonight from Jackson County, Rex Hodge, News 13.